Hey guys, thanks for checking out another one of 1800pocketpc.com video. Today we'll be looking at Pictures Lab. This is one of the many photo applications available in the marketplace. It's got quite a lot of features and today we'll just check out some of those. This is the about screen tells you how to use the app and it's currently at version 1.10. And it's got a bit of video that launches a YouTube page and you can check the change log here. How you use the app is you select the picture that you have on your phone so for example select one and then click on effects or just slide across the screen so you could just slide across and that'll come up with all the effects in there and there are various effects like black and white, soft image, vintage and whatnot and clicking on it will bring up the effect I'm not sure how good it looks by the camera but it looks quite nice and you have the option to edit that as well so you've got elements that you can change and your image will change accordingly and you have to save it so once it's saved the effects get saved and now you can crop it so you just want that and rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise and save so it will give you the cropped image and there's no option to share it via Facebook or Twitter from the app itself but you could save a copy it gets saved to your picture hub and say you exit out of the app you could go back and that will save your state of the app if you will and let's jump out go into the picture hub and the one that is saved will be there and you can share it via Facebook or SkyDrive from here but it would be great if the app had the option to add via Twitter or Facebook and things like that and one of the other thing you'll notice is like say you select the picture and go into extra you can launch the picture hub app picture labs app from there which will load up the image and give you the effects that it can apply on which is quite handy not many app does that so that's something nice and you have some basic settings which will allow you to manipulate the quality of the image that you save one other thing that you'll notice with the app is there's no way to stack effects so for example you go for an image and say now you have it in black and white you save it and now if you want to add another effect onto it so say you want to add comic it doesn't give you the black and white option to that it goes back to the real image so there's no stacking of effects if you will but that's something that the developer plans to bring in future version and one other option that I would like to say is a random effect so it might just be here to add some effects to a wallpaper that you have and if you have something called a random effect you just click on that and it gives you something random could be something that's fun to have as well and that's just about it thanks for watching